Hey guys, it's Greg, and today we're going to learn how to create pop-out lightbox features and the pop-out lightbox effect in WordPress. You can set this up on links or on images, and you can get videos to pop out that your users can play, or you can just have images pop out, like this nice ski lift picture. And you can even set up inline blurbs of content like this, where you could talk about yourself or one of your team members or something like that. This is particularly good though for images in your blog posts or graphs or charts, stuff like that, that you want your users to be able to see in a larger view. The first step is to install a plugin. This plugin is called WP Video Lightbox, and I've used it on several projects, so I guarantee it works and it is free. You can get that by clicking Add New and doing a search for WP Video Lightbox. Once you do so, you'll get some settings here for Video Lightbox, but you don't need to do anything more than install and activate the plugin. Next, go over to a WordPress post or page where you'll be working. We have a page builder row and a widget here. Page builder is a free plugin by Site Origin, which you can use, but you could also do this in the normal editor. Let's open up our widget and our row. And this tutorial does require us to look at the text tab because that's where we really make things happen. And we'll be adding in this particularly important part called rel equals WP video lightbox. For starters, let's create a basic image with the pop-out effect. All right, I'm going to delete everything we've made here, and then I'm just going to recreate all of it. To get an image, as per usual, click Add Media, find the image you'd like to use, and then click Insert into Page, but let's make it a little bit larger than a thumbnail. You'll notice that when we have this link here to Media File, if we leave this option as it is and then click insert into page, we'll get what's called an ahref surrounding what's called an image. And this is technically called the image HTML. But it's the A part with this closing A and this opening entire A section that we want to focus on. If I click done and update, and then refresh the page, we have the image. If we click the image, we get the image file itself in the browser tab, all right? So that's what WordPress often does by default. What I want you to do now is copy this link to the image file, because we're gonna use that in just a second, and then go back to your poster page editor or your page builder, open up the widget, all right? And then I just want you to bring your mouse to the end of the image file right here. This is the part we actually just copied in the other tab. Just put it right after this little quotation mark, make a space, and then write rel equals quotation mark wp-video-lightbox. Close quotation mark, that's very important. Leave the rest the same and then just click done and update. And just by adding in that very important rel equals quotation mark wp dash video dash lightbox quotation mark, we'll have achieved the lightbox effect, which when the image is clicked, renders the full size image of our chairlift. All right, so pretty easy and putting in that little snippet with the rel is how we communicate with the plugin we installed. All right, so that exists in the background and it affects our image. If you just wanted your images to be larger, you can add this particular section in the appropriate place in every one of your images and you'll achieve this effect. You might want to change the title right here for Keystone Lift. And to do that, you can either edit or delete the alt tag within your image that WordPress also generates. Click done, click update, and refresh. And now we've changed the image title. Beautiful. 
if we wanted to create the lightbox effect on a basic link instead of the image, let's just make some space at the top and write some text like click here. Now we'll set up a link as per usual by highlighting the text for our anchor text, clicking link, and I'm going to paste in the link to the image file that we copied before. That's the, that's the link that starts with HTTP and ends with dot jpg or maybe dot png. Click add link and of course we have to add in that rel equals wp dash video lightbox. Close quotation, click done, click update and now refresh and now we have our link which didn't work that time. Maybe let's refresh again and it's still not working. So let's edit page again and see what's going on. Aha, we can see I forgot to add in box. I was rushing. All right, so any mistake like that will break the effect we're trying to create. Let's make sure we got WP Video Lightbox. Click done, update, sorry about that. And now refresh. Now when we click our link, we have that nice content hidden within the link that pops out in the light box. All right, so maybe you're getting the hang of this. And why don't we try to make a video pop out instead of an image? How do we do that? Well, let's go back to our page and our widget. Stay in that text tab, of course, because the visual tab would erase some of these effects. And let's write out some text and let's go and get a video. All right, any video will do, like this one right here I made. Just copy the YouTube link then, the entire link from the top. And just like you put that image link on to the text, this time we're gonna put the video link onto the anchor text. Paste it in, leave this part unchecked, add link paste in the rel tag so we know we get it right. And you can put a space between the parentheses if you want, but that doesn't really matter. Click done, update, and once it loads, refresh, and you're looking great. You now have a video that pops out in a nice overlay light box right on top of the screen. Great job. Let's click in the gray area to make that go away. And we could also click that little X right here. All right, so that's how to put a video in. And you can put that in your menus maybe, or in your sidebar, or maybe in your footer, or wherever you think people are gonna wanna click to watch your video. Some themes come with this video pop-out feature built in, but now you know how to set it up on any theme. All right, what if that video is a little small for you? Well, if that video is a little too small, then you can use a slightly different technique to make that video in a widescreen. Let's write out some text again. And now let's go to this tips and tricks file from the plugin creators, which I'll put in the video notes below. I'll link this for you. And I'm gonna grab this short code for YouTube, copy that, and we're gonna use that just by pasting it in and cutting our anchor text, which we will paste right over the Y. However, we need to add the quotation marks in too, so it includes all the text. And then we need to add a video ID in for those X's, which is the portion of your video link after the equals sign. Just paste that in. You should be in good shape, but let's make that video bigger twice the size, 2x, and now let's click done, update, cross our fingers will be in good shape here because we're making good time, refresh, and now when you click this link you can watch the video in a much larger screen. Awesome stuff, great job. Alright, the final portion is to create that link and have it pop out with some uh, inline content blurb. All right, and that is particularly helpful in, well, whatever you want to use it for. All right, so let's look at how to do that. 
I was going to say for creating team pages or about us pages um, where you want people to click and learn more but there's a lot of ways you could use uh, this little trick all right so I'm just gonna write in learn more just like this and then we're gonna need to write out some CSS so just follow along with me and it shouldn't be too painful I know a lot of folks have said they enjoyed the CSS tips at the end of my videos, so hope you guys are watching this one. All right, let's write out um, a basic link for this learn more anchor text. All right, so ahref equals quotation mark, hashtag, and then I'm just gonna write in um, Greg pop out with that uh, hashtag symbol close the a tag properly all right and then add in rel equals wp video lightbox just like that all right so our link is set and now when someone clicks learn more we want it to go to this particular um, css selector we want it to go somewhere so we have to create somewhere for it to go to and that is using a div with class matching Greg pop out alright it has to match this part but without the hashtag you only want the hashtag in the ahf so if this said Greg lightbox then this should say Greg lightbox and so on and you want this to be specific enough that it doesn't match something your theme already says because that might make something random pop out and we want to be in full control all right, now let's create a line break to give us some space and let's grab an image. All right, let's grab an image of ourselves. Add media, have a picture of me on a boat. Let's make it a thumbnail image and click insert into page. And we can get rid of the ahref from this image because we don't want it to be clickable. All right. And then we can also delete the width and the height because those are sitting right here in the JPEG file. And for the class, let's just make it align center so it'll be centered automatically. Perfect, all right. Now we just need some text, but I'll make a line break first. And uh, we'll just have some warm up some, just like that. And I'll just paste it uh, so we have enough of it. That's looking great. And now let's make sure to close the div. All right, just like this with the forward slash div. What I've made here is a link with the rel tag for the plugin we've installed that when clicked should open up this div. All right, this is just a div that's gonna be sitting on our website. And a div is basically just a block of content that you know how to create if you've learned a little bit of HTML. Pretty basic stuff. And within this block is an image of us and some text about us. Again, pretty simple. However, because this content is going to only show up when the link comes up, I want to give it a style equals display none. And what that'll do is basically remove this block of content from the page. It'll go put it off in the corner of the web somewhere where no one will see it until someone clicks our learn more link. All right, so style equals display none with uh, quotation marks and the semicolon is absolutely necessary. I think we're in good shape, cross our fingers. So let's click done and update. And now when we refresh our page, we'll have another link. We click learn more and it says undefined. We don't like that. All right, so we did something wrong. And now I can tell you that the place I made the mistake is right here with the word class. That should actually say ID, all right? Because we're using the hashtag sign. That's a pretty crazy mistake for someone who writes as much HTML as me, but I guess we all make mistakes and nobody's perfect. So make sure that it says ID instead of class because we're using the pound sign. That's just how it works. Click done and update and refresh 
And now when we click our link, we get the content blurb. Beautiful. So again, this entire blurb is hidden with style equals display none. And now when we click the link, we're telling WordPress to pull it up and it shows up right in our video light box. Lastly, if you'd like, you can add even more CSS to this blurb and make it a little prettier. Like style equals border radius, 40 pixels or so. We'll give our image a little bit of curve to it. You could also make the image larger in this area. And then we can put some paragraph style in and set a margin of maybe zero on the top, 40 pixels on the right, zero on the bottom, and 40 pixels on the left to make our paragraph nice and centered. All right, once you do that, just click done and update. Refresh, of course, and when we click our link, we can see our blurb looks a little more professional and a little bit prettier. All right, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to create the pop-out lightbox effect on your WordPress website. As usual, let me know any questions in the comments. Please rate and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.